Hello and welcome to this session on Jenkins beginner tutorial. On this channel automation step by step I am going to start a series on Jenkins tips and tricks and today is the first session so let us begin and today we will learn how to add parameters in a job or how to parameterize a job in Jenkins. So let's get started and let me just add step number one is we will start our Jenkins. So in my case I have my Jenkins at this location and I hope you also have Jenkins on your system in case you do not have you can just go to the browser and say download Jenkins and you will get to download Jenkins website and here you click on download and here you will get the latest version for Jenkins and I have downloaded this Jenkins dot war so you can also download this and once you have this on your system you will go to the command line and go to the location where your jenkins.war file is so let me open my command line and I will just go to the location of my jenkins.war file and now I will say to start jenkins java hyphen jar jenkins.war and if you hit enter it will start Jenkins on default port which is 8080 but I want to start it on some other port so I will say dash dash HTTP port equals any port number so I'm saying 9191 and hit enter so this will take few seconds and start Jenkins so once Jenkins is started you can go to your browser so let me go to my browser here and because we have started our Jenkins on port 9191 so I will say localhost 9191 you can also give the IP of your system and say 9191 and we should now get Jenkins up and running so here I have a lot of projects already created so uh, so step number two will be create a new freestyle job so let me go to Jenkins and here I will go to new item and and give any name so let me name it as parameterized job and click on freestyle and say ok so this has created a job and now we will parameterize our job so here step number three is parameterize the job so for that what we are going to do is if you go to the general section you will find a option here this project is parameterized and here if you click here it will show you an option to add parameters and you can add a boolean parameter a choice parameter a string parameter and so on so for now let us create a string parameter and here you can give the parameter name so let me just give name and let us say default value is automation you can also give some description which is optional and default value is also optional and then you can create the other sections of the project so what I'm going to do is I'm going to this build section and just for this demo purpose I'm going to add a Windows batch command because I'm on Windows if you are on Mac or Linux you can also uh, select execute shell so I will select execute Windows batch command and here I'm just going to echo the parameter that we created now the syntax here will be if you are on Windows so syntax will be for Windows you will say percentage sign and the parameter name and percentage sign if you are on Linux or Unix so if you are or any star NUX system what you will do is 
and in fact on Mac as well what you can do is you can say dollar and the parameter name in some cases you might also have to say dollar and inside curly braces you will give the name of the parameter and also sometimes even this does not work then you can put this within quotes so this should work on Mac or Linux or Unix systems and for Windows you have to give the parameter name within percentage signs so for us because I am on Windows I will say here echo percentage and the parameter name we have given is name so within percentage signs I will put the parameter name and apply and save now if you notice you will see we have instead of build we have build with parameters so if you click here you will find this parameter here so now by default it is automation but you can also change it and then you can build it so let us build our project and let us also see the console output so here you can see it has taken the parameter automation and it has printed automation here also you can change the parameter so if I say let us say I put my name here Raghav and now I say build if I go to the console logs you can see now it is printing Raghav so there are other parameters as well so let me just show you very quickly let me go back to the project and configure so here you will see there are other parameters for example you have choice parameters here you can also give the different choices like options so let us say I name it as choice and my choices are A, B, C, D and I'll just save it and in the execute windows batch command I will add another command for choice and again within percentage signs and apply and save and now if you say build with parameters you can see now you have got the choice as a drop down and you can select anything and hit build and now let us see the console output so you can see it has printed automation and then it has printed C so this is how you can parameterize your projects and the example that I have shown you are very basic just for demo purposes but in real life you will find it very useful while you are building your project so let me also add step number four as run and validate so this is how you can parameterize jobs in Jenkins I hope you like it please hit the like button and share it with others and if you have not yet subscribed please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and I will keep on posting new videos on Jenkins thanks for watching